Hello everyone, I'm Zhao Chuang. Today we are going to learn about Jackson's chameleon. The chameleon is a very interesting animal. Its most salient feature is that it can change colors, and its name is used as a metaphor for a changeable person. Many TV advertisements use it to show gorgeous colors. But speaking of the color change, the change of a chameleon is not so extreme. The most extreme color change in nature occurs in some cuttlefish, which can change their colors rapidly. The chameleon changes color slowly. Its color is not as brightly gorgeous as described in many TV programs. There are many kinds of chameleons, among which, the panther chameleon has the best color changes, because it can have many colors. But most chameleons can only darken, or brighten their bodies. The overall color lingers around green. They don't have many changeable patterns on their bodies, just good enough to achieve basic camouflage. In fact, chameleons are not the only ones that can change color. Certain lizards closely related to chameleons, such as iguanas, can also change somewhat. But they change only a little, much weaker than the chameleon. For example, some iguanas turn dark in the sun, so they can absorb more sunlight. The dark pigments can also block a part of the UV radiation damage. Color change on the chameleon used to be considered a passive behavior. It changes its color only when the environment changes. But in fact, chameleons are often controlled by emotions, meaning it can change its body color voluntarily. When two chameleons fight, or when a chameleon encounters some other enemies intending to hurt it, and it feels it can beat the opponent, wants to intimidate, it will turn its body dark and develop yellow patterns on its body to warn the opponent. At the same time, it will move the ribs in. As it moves in the ribs, its body will become tall. Its body's wide side will face the opponent and make itself look scarier. In addition, the chameleon is affected by temperature. If the temperature is high, it will also change its color to very dark. And when it's sad or when it feels cold, it will make the color lighter. This is another characteristic of chameleons. The eyes of the chameleon are one of its most distinctive features. Its eyes bulge. If you look at the chameleon's skull, you'll find that its eye sockets are big. But in fact, the exposed eyes, the pupils, are tiny and surrounded by developed muscles. Its two eyes can roll to different directions at the same time and can see things in different directions, so it can look around for prey or observe enemies. It can even see with one eye whether there are enemies behind it, and with the other eye whether there is food ahead. This is also a characteristic of chameleon. In addition, it has a super long tongue that work with its eyes. This tongue can shoot out very far in an instant. The end of the tongue contains a mass of mucus. Once its eyes have aimed an animal, it will turn its head slowly towards the target, then pop its tongue out rapidly, and suck its prey into its mouth. In addition, the chameleon lives in trees throughout the year. This led to a very big change in its four limbs. The chameleon's hand has five fingers. Its fingers become a structure similar to a person wearing gloves, or more precisely, mittens. Its first two fingers form a group, the other three fingers form another group. The two groups can form a grip that looks like a bean sprout. And there is a developed claw at the end. This sharp and hooked claw can grasp branches to prevent it from falling off. This structure can help it grasp the branches tightly and is good for climbing. The end of its tail is also flexible. The tail can coil on the tree during normal times, an action that prevents it from falling. But when there are no branches it rolls up like this. Sometimes it rolls up, sometimes it rolls down. The tail is flexible and it climbs very slowly, probably because this animal is usually good at camouflage, and it doesn't have to run fast to protect itself. When we talk about Jackson's chameleon, its biggest feature is the three long horns. The chameleon usually doesn't have such things on its head. Many species develop things at this location on the head frill, usually, a structure similar to the head frill of horned dinosaurs grows behind the head. There are many large scales on this structure, 
which can form a bright pattern, so it may be an organ for display. But other chameleons like Jackson's chameleon, have long horns in front of them. At first glance, they are a bit like Triceratops in the age of dinosaurs, with three long horns on one head frill. These long horns will help it fight peers. When do chameleons fight in the mating season, or compete for territory, they will lock these horns and push each other. The horns may also play a role for display, when courting the opposite sex. Apart from this chameleon, there are many other kinds of chameleons, which either have a long nose or horns like cauliflower, or have distinct features. In short, the chameleon is an amazingly beautiful animal. The above is some information about the chameleon.